Hello. Today we are reviewing Terrifying T-Rex. Have you ever wanted to watch a T-Rex movie? Where the T-Rex exclusively eats fat chicks? Well, almost exclusively eats fat chicks. Or a T-Rex movie where you get to see an old fat chick naked who you do not want to see naked at all? Well, if so, Terrifying T-Rex is the movie for you. It proves all you need to make a T-Rex movie is a T-Rex and a bunch of fat chicks. And five dollars. I swear, that's all that movie was spent on was five dollars. And it got a bunch of fat chicks and a T-Rex. Now, this movie is actually pretty good. It, it, it's about this, t this meteor strike that hits the Earth. First, it starts with NASA landing a man on the moon, which, in actuality, in this movie, they actually landed a man on the moon in the beginning of this movie. And you can tell it's hyper-realistic. They really did it. This movie had an extremely large budget. So this, they land a man on the moon in the beginning of this movie, and then a meteor hits the Earth and brings out the last remaining T-Rex, played by the last remaining T-Rex on Earth. Once again, they went with real T-Rex on this movie. They had real T-Rex handlers. It was a trained T-Rex. And that released this trained T-Rex that they trained for months on end to get this real T-Rex. And the T-Rex goes around and starts eating people. And then you see his old fat chick naked. And she's a secret government agent. And she gets sent out to find the T-Rex. Who's just going around eating almost exclusively fat chicks. And she knows she's probably the worst government agent in the world. Because she doesn't know when looking for a T-Rex... To follow the T-Rex footprints. She has to call in a dinosaur specialist who's like, well, why don't you follow the footprints? I could have told her that. Dinosaurs leave footprints. But whatever, she had to call in a dinosaur expert. I would have also told her, you know, follow the dead bodies. But whatever. <laughs> so she's following the footprints. And she keeps getting calls from her boss telling her, find the T-Rex, find the T-Rex. And we keep cutting to this news lady who's interviewing, you know, the people they put on the news to interview about the T-Rex. And it's comical, and it's hilarious, and, it, and once again, it's a real T-Rex in this movie. And it, it is a great movie to watch. You get to see an old woman in a bikini who you did not want to see in a bikini. And I think it takes place in Texas because everyone seems to have guns and want to shoot at the T-Rex. I mean, if I saw a T-Rex, I'd want to go in my house, lock the door, call the police or at least animal control. To report a T-Rex. But nope. They all get guns and just shoot the T-Rex. You hear that? They're like, I'm in a hurry. I have to get to my car. I have to leave. Instead of hiding from the T-Rex. I don't know. Maybe this is a Texas thing. So go watch... Terrifying T-Rex. It's on Tubi. I know Tubi has a lot of commercials. They show me like eight VCs commercials during this movie. None of them made me want to watch. None of them made me want to eat VCs. Um, there were a bunch of other commercials that didn't really affect me either. So I know Tubi has a lot of commercials. But luckily the movie's not very long, so you don't have to deal with a lot of commercials. So go watch Terrifying T-Rex on Tubi. It's a great movie with a lot of fat chicks. So if you ever want to watch a movie with a lot of fat chicks, this is the movie for you. Go watch it. It's great. It's Terrifying T-Rex on Tubi. That is all.